please, 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 ladies and gentlemen, for the love of God, do not buy an Apple Watch right now. Okay? You'll thank me later. Let's begin. It's looking more and more likely that Apple Watch refreshes are imminent. It could be happening probably even a week from now. And yes, this is to reiterate from the earlier report of John Prosser saying that we should be expecting Apple Watches on the week of September 7th. However, September 7th exactly is Labor Day. So Apple rarely launches things on US holidays. That's why I'm expecting probably either a week from today or a week from tomorrow, we could be seeing not one, but two new Apple Watch refreshes. Again, I could be wrong. I've very very great track record when it comes to being incorrect so if you don't want to believe me that's fine and reasonable and you probably shouldn't however i was mingling around in the discord and our moderator ryan started noticing that a lot of apple watches particularly the more expensive ones you know the 44 millimeters with cellular they are not only getting delayed in ship times but in fact a lot of them are just straight up unavailable they're not available for pickup and they're not even available for shipping it just says currently unavailable this is the case with most of the 44 millimeter apple Apple Watch editions, most of the 44 millimeter Apple Watch stainless steel models, and honestly, most of the 44 millimeter cellular models, even in the aluminum configuration, are unavailable when it comes to the Series 5. This is likely because Apple is clearing out inventory because it doesn't really make sense for them to keep manufacturing and selling titanium ceramic Apple Watches if they're just going to refresh them in a week or two. So, seeing all of these watch ship times slip or seeing the watches become unavailable is not normal. Typically that doesn't happen, so the fact that we're getting multiple Apple Watches registered in the Eurasian database alongside these ship times is typically exactly what happens before a site refresh takes place. This is pretty much exactly what happened before the 2020 iMac officially launched. And I know a lot of you are thinking Apple Watches have always been unveiled alongside new iPhones. So why are we getting Apple Watches as a site refresh and not having them launched alongside this year's iPhones? Well, mostly because the iPhones have been delayed more so than usual, and and we're likely not going to be seeing an unveiling of the iPhone 12s until October. But just because there's mass production issues and the world is falling apart for the iPhones, that doesn't mean the Apple Watches also have to be late. You know, I think if anything, because of Apple removing Force Touch and WatchOS 7, they want to be getting out these new Apple Watches as quick as possible. And several rumors and analysts have been pointing to the fact that just because the iPhones are going to be later than usual doesn't mean the software has to be later than usual. So it's very likely that iOS 14, iPadOS 14, and watchOS 7, those will probably be launching in mid to late September this year as well. So yes, that also means that the new Apple Watch is coming next week. You'll probably be able to either order them a week from now or they'll announce them and say pre-orders start on Friday and then a week after they take orders, deliveries will begin and around that time when deliveries are starting is when they'll launch watchOS 7 for everybody. Makes a whole lot of sense to me if this was a typical normal year, September 8th around then is when the iPhone event would have taken place, but of course, it's not a normal year, so we're not getting an iPhone event likely this month, which I'm very sad about. I don't want to wait longer, but, but hey, if we're getting something this month, I'm happy. There's supposed to be new iPads next week as well. It could just be the budget iPad, but there's also a decent chance that we could get the new iPad Air refresh as well. There's been new iPads registered in the Eurasian database, so keep your eyes peeled. I would say don't buy any iPad Air, budget iPad, Apple Watch Series 5 or 3. In the latest Bloomberg report, they also mentioned that Apple is working on refreshing not just the Series 5, so the Series 6, which is probably getting a bigger battery life and blood oxygen level monitoring, so some new health features that oxygen level detection is kind of important right now because a lot of people infected with the, you know, <coughs> can notice a drop in oxygen levels. So if there's a chance that maybe the Apple Watch Series 6 can help people detect if they have the, you know what, that'd be kind of a big deal. And I think it would be kind of a big moment for Apple to be like, hey, we're facing this huge pandemic right now and here's how we can help with access actual hardware. How do we make money off of this situation, right? That's the Apple motto from the beginning. I believe Steve Jobs said it himself. But also at the same time, Bloomberg did mention refreshing the Series 3, which could mean that Apple Watch SE we've talked so much about. For the record, I don't think it'll be called Apple Watch SE. That's not what my guess is. They could come up with something weird for it. Apple Watch Lite, Apple Watch Air, or Apple Watch Cheap for the broke boys who can't afford, you know, slimmer bezels. But still, hearing them say that they want to keep that $200 entry price, 
high school at the same time get that stupid series 3 out of there because it's been there for three years now the processor in it is too slow it still doesn't have fall detection so having a dated apple watch design with updated internals so that it can continue to get years of updates makes perfect sense and i could absolutely see apple doing that within the next few weeks because i can't imagine they're going to be providing software updates to the series 3 for that much longer given it's the oldest apple watch that can get watch os 7 so the fact that they're selling it today is you know kind of iffy for apple in their typical software supports if anything i could see perhaps apple launching the se next week because it's so boring and not very interesting so they're like okay that's a site refresh but maybe they save the series 6 which actually has some more updated internals new system on chip the new health features and they save that for the iphone unveiling i've seen some people theorizing that but what do you guys think is apple gonna save one apple watch or both apple watches for the iphone event or are these website refreshes likely feel free to let me know this is your apple sleep here i'll see you in the next one